Now I'm going to put my mattress in there so it'll self inflate. So just about the time I'm ready to tip over, it'll be all ready. Uh, all ready for me. So that's my uh, pillow and pump and mattress right there all together in the same case. So what I did here is I folded it in half long ways and rolled it up like that the same way you might do a sleeping bag and then I put it in two paper bags, grocery bags, as a cover. That way it fit completely in one side case along with the pump and the pillow and maybe a few bottles of water. All I did so far was pull the tabs. The ones actually deflate, but I just pulled them both, both open. As soon as I did the inflate one, you could hear it start to draw in air. And you can see it's actually beginning to unroll. So now I'm going to put my chair together. This is my, my pillow and my hump. The pillow is just a pillow, it's just an empty sack that's uh, airtight. And this is to help just get more full if I need it, and of course the pillow. It all fits in one side case, which is nice. So I'll come back after I do the chair and see where we're at. Fix it. Okay, let's see how this looks. Okay, so in the time I did all that talking and bullshitting, it unrolled completely and now it's starting to unfold. But of course, helping it is better. This is gonna, be, it's gonna work better. I want my head on that side though, facing up, not down. And when I came back, this is what happened. I don't know how long that took, maybe half an hour, but it's it's not inflated all the way, but it's, it's definitely, you know, self-inflated to this level. So now I'm going to use the pump to uh, put it there in the inflate and fill it up the rest of the way to, to where I want it. But it won't take too many pumps. So what happened is I actually got interrupted. Someone came in and asked me a question. I went outside. Pretty soon I was chit-chatting even more. And I, you know, got distracted. So I come back maybe half an hour, 20 minutes later, and it had filled up about 70 percent, 80 percent of the way on its own. But it probably did that fairly quick. I just came back in 20 minutes. That's all. So now I start pumping it up the rest of the way, and I think it took about 38, 40 pumps, and it was more than full enough and then I unplug it yeah, it's getting firmer. but it, it does what it can on its own but it's not going to be completely full or even probably 90% full but it's a lot better than having to do 100% of the work mm -hmm. I recently found that they made a new version of this Mega Mat called the Mega Mat Lite and it 
either it has different foam or less foam or something inside. So it doesn't really self-inflate and you have to do more of the inflation, but they give you a different kind of pump, which is like a bag that just helps you shove air into it. And that pack's very, very small, so I'm thinking about getting that, actually, and giving that a try next. Oh, Jesus. That's almost too far. Okay. Stop there. Close it up. Call good. The pillow and the mattress and the pumps all work together. They all have the same valve. You don't need any adapters or anything. It's all the same company. Um, the pillow is just an empty bag, obviously. Uh, there's a new version now, I think, that has foam inside, but it packs a lot bigger. The pillow packs super small. <laughs> and that's that's all there is really to it. It didn't take more than probably five minutes to do the whole both things and and it was ready to go. Oh yeah, no, I I hope that helps whoever watching and wants to get a kind of real world, real time idea of what is involved when you're actually in a campsite after riding all day. And good luck. Take care. Like when I lean on that, I can't even, I cannot feel the ground through the bottom. So that's kind of fantastic. That's also very good insulation, by the way. I noticed when I was doing just an experiment at home, I was laying on it, I could eventually feel heat radiating back because my body heat was being bounced back. So that actually stays keep, helps keep you warm too. Just uh, in case that matters to you. <laughs> it's all my own shadow. I was like, who's that? <laughs> right next to me. <laughs> That's hilarious. I almost had an accident with myself. <laughs>